there what's up guys josh here in my previous video we learned how to model this silky chicken from a single minute vertex if you want to learn how go and check my previous video and i'll attach the link in the description below also so today we want to learn how to add colors to it we'll also learn how to add rig or how to rig it or add skeleton to it we'll also learn how to make the uh these hair particles follow the rig so stay tuned till the and guys it will be fun so we'll start by adding the colors i'll just click on it and go to a place written materials properties here and click on new here i'm just gonna add the ones for skin so i'll double click on that and rename it as uh, skin body maybe not like that skin body like that and enter and this one as i said last in my last video that uh the silky chicken have a black skin uh but i'm not gonna give it a black color i'm just gonna give it uh maybe a dark brown color and allow people to display there so that we see what's happening how it's changing colors i'm also gonna add one which will be for the far so i'll double click on that and rename it far like that and enter and make this one purely white and i'll click on rgb and give this value of rg and b a value of one that will give a perfect white so i'll uh, as you can see it doesn't change so i'll go ahead to this place return particle system and click on one particle system there and go to render place and change this one materials from skin body to far and as you can see it's now changing go ahead and click on that one also change that from skin body to far and do the same if you want to add different colors you can do this by adding more different colors there and as you can see now we have a white hair or white fur and a brown body you can change the colors of the body according to what you want or according to your choice what i will do next i'll now go ahead and add the skeleton i will hide this one so that we see what's happening and go to back uh, back of the graphic and i will make sure that the cursor is at the world origin so what i will do i'll click on shift s and cursor to world origin as you can see the cursor is there so that when we add a bone by clicking on a shift a amateur and uh, we have different types of bones but i will use a single bone it it now snaps it to the world origin so but as you can see we are just uh seeing the head the tail is is hidden inside here what we can do to enable the uh, us see the tail we'll go to this place return viewpoint display expand that and allow in front so that to any uh, viewpoint or any any front view we go to or any viewpoint we go to where the bone appears as if it's just in front of us so go to back of the graphic again or front of the graphic and go to edit mode by clicking on tab uh drag that one gz to move it just to somewhere here where the body starts and go to this uh left of the graphic gz and drag it and uh I'll just place it so that it starts at the center there it to extrude i'm just extruding to align it with the body like that it to extrude again to somewhere here and it to extrude finally to somewhere there that one to make the tail uh it to extrude again to around here it to extrude somewhere here and maybe one for the head by clicking on e to extrude like that i will click on this one for the head and click on shift d to duplicate this one will be for the beak and if you and as you can see if i click on rx it rotates from the center i don't want that so i'll go to this place and uh, change that to active element so that when i rotate like this it will start from that end point of that head so and then i will click on it and click on gz to grab it on the z axis and place it somewhere there i'm just aligning it with the bottom part of, or with the bottom big and a g and grab it and place it here g I'll, I'll click on all of them now g and a gz yeah like that i'm just aligning it with the big and i'll click on shift d to duplicate for the upper big and click on gz to push it on the z axis like that and uh we are done with the big so what i'll do next i'll go to the uh feet or uh, the legs <laughs> or the toes so i'll click on ez to extrude on the z axis and i'll just extrude a younger one or a smaller one and click on gx to push it on the x axis to somewhere here like that maybe you can just push it a little bit to the top gz i just want to make this one smaller and click on ez to extrude another one 
this one will be for the will touch the the toes but i want to extrude one which will control all the all the bones touching the feet so i'll click on ey to extrude one on the y axis and what i'll do i'll click on it and click on shift d this one will be the first uh, toe this one will uh, touch the first toe and i've clicked on shift d and click on z so that i drag it on the z axis to somewhere there and I click on uh, shift d r z to rotate on the z axis like that uh, shift d r z rotate and i'm just aligning it with the toes like that okay again shift d r z this one will go to there like that and i can just grab this one and uh, push it forward a little bit so gy to push it to somewhere here click on uh, shift d r z to extrude one for this uh, toe here and uh, this one is a bit longer so i'll click on that end point and click on gy to grab it and place it somewhere there and as you can see we have now the bones uh for the left is it the left or the right so the left part of the feet we don't have for this one and automatically blender will give us that one uh by making sure that we have named all these bones correctly so to name a bone i'll just click on this one and show you by clicking on f2 it gives you this uh this icon here or this uh, table here or this naming place and you just name and give any name of your choice i'll just give it tail and enter uh, so you just go ahead and click on f2 backspace head enter like that so i'll repeat the process like that so i just went ahead and renamed all these uh, bones by clicking on f2 and entering so i didn't rename this one so i'll click on f2 and rename this one to be root this one will control all these bones upper here or uh, these bones at the body and i'm um, i want to show you how to name the rename the leg bones or the feet bones so i'll just click on that single bone and click on f2 and uh, i will rename it upper leg dot l remember to put dot l because these ones are for the left side and they are symmetrical so meaning there is one for the right side so give it a dot l so that a uh, blender recognizes that there is one also which should be placed on the right side and enter so i'll just repeat that process clicking on f2 and a uh, lower leg not lower <laughs> lower leg dot l like that and i'll rename all these other bones like that i can rename this one at the top of the feet and rename it give it f uh, click on f2 and i'll rename it controller maybe like that dot l and i'll show you what this one means so I just went ahead and renamed all these bones. For example, as you see this one, F2, I renamed this one toe3.l and I started from toe1.l until toe5.l. So what I'll do next, I'll click on these bones and make them parented on these toe bones. Yeah, and make them parented to this controller. And I'll click on this controller uh, last. And by clicking on control P, I'll make them parented at their sides. Or are they or are the places where they are by clicking on Control P and keep offset. So I'll also make sure that this one and this one are parented by clicking on this first and then shift click on that and I'll click on Control P keep offset. This ones also are the big here. I'll also make them parented to the head. So I'll start by clicking on that shift click on this and click on the head last and click on Control P keep offset and I think you are now done. So what I'll do next. I'll just make sure that we have now I say I, I, we are going to use uh, inverse kinematics for this rig. So before I go there, I'll just uh, drag this one backwards a little bit so that a blender recognizes that the uh, the bones of the hen or this silky chicken bends to the back. So I'll click on E Y to extrude. I'll tell you what this one means. And I'll also click on this one E Y to extrude. They are funny bones popping out like that. But what I'll do, I'll rename them and I will click on F2 and I will just rename them IK pole, IK pole dot L. Since we will also have one for the right for the right side. So like that. And click on this one also and click on F2 and uh, rename it IK 
target this one will be the target target dot l like that and enter and uh, this ones I will be and will not be included in the chain or they will not be part of this bone chain so I'll click on uh, alt P and separate it by clearing the parent so that as you can see now this bone is just single it's just a single bone and I'll right click to snap it back like there and I will click on this one also and click on alt P and clear parent this one also should not be part of this uh, of this bone and I'll uh, right click to snap it back but I will make sure that it doesn't deform these bones also this chain so by uh, removing deform there and click on this one also and remove deform so as you can see now we have these bones but I'll not move this one we usually move it to somewhere here I'll not start by moving it I'll tell you why it will guide us later so we now have everything now to set uh, the inverse kinematic so what I'll do next I'll just click on this so I'll click on this bone and uh, no make sure that first you are in the post mode so we in uh, in uh, amateur we have object mode edit mode and post mode so click on post mode and start by clicking on this bone and shift click on this one and click on shift I and to active bone and it adds an inverse kinematics to this one so what I'll do next I'll make sure that that one is selected and go to this place for bone constraints and for the pole ta target make it amateur and for the bone now select that uh that uh, pole that is ik pole dot l and uh, as you can see this one happens so don't worry and that be afraid we shall just change the chain length to two so that this one controls maximum this bone here controls a maximum of two bones in the chain and we will also as you can see it moved out of this bone yet these bones were uh, seemed like they were connected so i'll also change the pole angle by just guessing it i can put 90 for a trial as you can see it moves away even further so i'll uh, try again maybe negative 90 so try those angles and now it's right away back so i think we are done now so what we'll do next we'll just uh confirm how it's working if we click on this bone and click on gz is it working yeah it's working and what i can now do i'll go to edit mode and drag this one backwards since this one is the by the way this pole is the direction where the bone where the leg should be facing or where the knee should be facing so if i click on gy and drag it to here it, the knee will always be uh, will be facing on this direction so for example if i go to post mode and now move move this one and you can see it's rotating meaning this one is where the bone should be facing the direction and to this one this one will be just uh doing like uh lifting these other bones if you see if we click on g it's lifting the other bones like that and uh, uh for example we can also test this root bone is it working gz yeah it's working but there's a uh, an awkward happening here as you can see when it, we drag it downwards these bones are rotating also and we don't like that it, that doesn't happen in real life so i'll click on a for all and click on alt g to return to its uh initial uh movement and alt r alt s to return to rotation and scale respectively so what i'll do next i want now this bone not to inherit that rotation so i'll click on this control bone and go to this place for bones and uh, click on this relation and unhide uh, or uh, uncheck inherit rotation now what if, if we do this gz you see now it's not an inheriting that rotation again as you can see if we click on this bone and click on rx we want it to inherit that rotation so that at times the bones of a chicken rotates like that so what i'll do i'll click on this controller bone and add an uh, a, a constraint or add copy rotation constraint so that it copies that rotation of the ik target so i'll click on the target and make sure that amateur is selected and for the bone make sure that uh ik target dot l is selected and there's some uh, weird happening here so what i'll do i'll make sure that for the target the local space is selected and uh, it snaps it back and also for the owner make sure that the uh, uh, local space is also selected and let's now try and see if it's really working is it working yeah it's working for the x it's working what about for the z now it's moving in an opposite direction so and what about for the y is it working 
for the Y, is it working? Yeah, it's working. For the Y, it's working. But for the Z, it's not working. So we need to make it invert at the Z axis. Now let's try it again. Add Z. Now it's moving in the right way. R X. Otherwise, we shall not use those ones for the X. For the maybe I should also confirm. Is it working really? Yeah. And then for the R Y. No, I double clicked on Y. So R Y, and check it. No, it's working in an opposite direction. So I'll click on this root bone here and also invert for the Y axis. So let's try it. Is it this one? No, this one. Let's try it now. RY. Now it's working in a right way. So go ahead and play with those uh, values there. Yours could not be working for the x-axis. And as we can see now, we have experimented at, and it's now working. So what I'll do next, I will. I want now to flip this bone so that they come to this side also. So I'll go to edit mode and click on A for all. Right click and click on symmetrize. Symmetrize. And the bones are move directly to this place now if we go to uh, post mode and click on gz to move it on the z axis both uh, both uh, bones are now moving in a correct way and what i'll do next finally i'll go to object mode now and parent these bones so that they are not the only ones moving oh okay before i do that i'll go back to post mode f for all and click on alt g alt r and alt s Okay, and then go back to uh, object mode. Start by clicking on the body. Shift click on this one and click on control P and uh, with automatic sway, uh, weights. Automatic deform with automatic weights. And now if we go back to post mode by clicking on this. Now go back to object mode first and click on this bone. This uh, armature and go back to post mode. If I click on GZ gz to move it on the z axis i want to look at it if it's really working in a good way or there's some awkward bending i think it's it's quite okay what about for this place is it working really in a right way or uh yeah it's working in a right way but as you can see it's really deforming in an awkward way so as uh, there's a friend of mine go, uh, there's a friend of mine called uh, Joyce Ariel who requested that I do a tutorial on weight painting and I'll do that short tutorial it will be a very short tutorial to see how we correct some awkward deformations when a blender doesn't recognize uh, well how to place this bone to affect which bone so in that uh, video I'll cover that uh, weight painting and uh, stay tuned and you'll see as you can see what's happening it's affecting more parts and maybe we want this bone to affect all the beak so we shall see how we are gonna correct that and i'll click for a for all alt g alt r and alt s to correct on the scale to go to its initial scale uh rotation and uh, movement i'll go back now to object mode and i want now to attach the hair so let's go and hide now these hair particles or uh, this particle system uh, by opening it this place and uh, if we go to if we click on an armature and go to ed, uh, post mode and maybe i can click on this root bone and confirm if really is hair particles following this rig gy hey no the body is moving alone why <laughs> so don't worry so it's just a quite simple stuff so click on the body and go to this place and just make sure that the armature is on top of the air particles not not necessarily the not necessarily the subdivision these hair particles make sure that armature in and in modifier tab make sure you click on modifier tab and make sure that the armature is on top of the particle air system and now let's try is it working okay control tab rx is it working yeah now the hair particles are following the bone hey, and now we are done with our tutorial guys it was fun and hope you have learned something so please remember to subscribe to my channel more tutorials are coming in my next video we'll cover animation but in the in in between i'll cover the weight painting and then in my three out of three video we'll cover the animation part so thank you have a nice time guys wow bye